Vijendra Singh, the professional boxer who was previously an Olympian and represented India at the Olympic Games, is also a prominent jat face who was associated with the Congress Party for several years. Vijendra Singh also unsuccessfully contested the 2019 Lok Sabha polls in a Congress ticket from South Delhi, wherein he came in third behind the eventual winner, Ramesh Bidudi of the BJP and also Raghav Chadda of the Aam Party. He was being considered by the Congress Party to contest this time round from Mathura in Uttar Pradesh against Hema Malini in the 2024 polls. But before that could happen, he has decided to contest, or in fact decided to represent the Bharti Janta Party. He will soon be joining the Bharti Janta Party. In fact, you see the press conference visuals as we speak. Let me in fact go across to Karishma who will take us through some more updates on this. Karishma, this is a big blow to the Congress, although in 2023 there was a cryptic post that have been put out by Vijayendra Singh saying that uh, uh, he might in fact be a due uh, to politics. Uh, he had said politics say Ram Ram, but now of course he's appeared to change his mind. He wants to represent the Bharti Janata Party. Well, it's absolutely, Siddharth, and even on the 30th of March, there was a tweet from uh, Vijayendra Singh which says, uh, which said, Jahan se janta chahegi, hum wahan se uh, tayyar hai. So the cryptic posts uh, were incoming, and today he is joining the Bhartiya Janta Party. Remember, he had joined the Congress Party in 2019. He was fighting from South Delhi constituency, but it was a massive, massive defeat uh, for Vijayendra Singh, and ever since uh, then, he had been a part of the Congress Party. In fact, he was uh, there with Rahul Gandhi in the Bharat Jodo Nyaya as well. He was there when the uh, when Priyanka Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi were in support of uh, the wrestlers as well. He was there at Jantar Mantar supporting the wrestlers as well. So he has been a part of uh, the Congress party and now uh, when the press conference happens, we will clearly understand as to what his reasons are uh, from jumping from Congress uh, after joining it in 2019 to Bharatiya Janata uh, Party now. And like you said, he was uh, being, uh, you know, he was being thought about to be fielded from Mathura against Hema Malini. That that did not happen. So now we'll have to wait and see what exactly happens as he chooses to join and represent uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party today. Remember, he is a 2008 Olympic uh, bronze medalist. He's won several medals for the country. He's always been very, very outspoken as far as athletes and their concerns uh, are there. We saw that in the wrestlers' protest as well. So we'll have to wait and see what his precise role in the Bharatiya Janata Party is going to be. Absolutely, Karishma, because as far as the candidates from Delhi for the BJP are concerned, they've pretty much uh, been named. Uh, and he, of course, hails originally from the state of Haryana. He was born very close to Bhivani, uh, which is in many ways a hub of wrestling, though he, of course, became a professional boxer, represented India, and even won a medal at the Olympic Games. In terms of the BJP's calculations for recruiting him as a prominent jart face, it remains to be seen as to whether or not he'll be fielded this time by the party as well. Well, yes, absolutely. That is something that we will have to wait and see uh, because, like you said, all Delhi candidates have been uh, named. As Mohit was mentioning earlier, all Haryana candidates also have been named. So what uh, position does it leave for uh, Vijinder Singh, whether he's going to be fielded or not, is something that, of course, we will have to wait and see. But yes, it is a big, big setback to the Congress party because Vijinder Singh, when he had joined uh, the Congress party in 2019, uh, there was a lot of talk about it. He was being fielded as one of them main uh, faces when he was fighting from uh, uh, the South Delhi constituency as well and today uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden not for him but for everyone reporting this he is choosing to join the Bharatiya Janata uh, Party and it is going to be very very interesting Siddharth to hear from him what his reasons are to choose to join uh, the BJP and not stick with uh, Congress Party uh, anymore because just about two days ago he was active on social media he was retweeting whatever Rahul Gandhi uh, was also saying like I said in December 2023, he was there at the Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra as well. So obviously there's something happened between the short span of time that he has chosen uh, to join the BJP and uh, probably in the press conference we will have more and more uh, clarity as to how this happened. All right, Karishma, do stay with us. In fact, let's also tune in to the press conference currently underway where uh, boxer Vijayendra Singh has formally joined the Bharti Janata Party in the presence of Mr. Vinod Tavde. Let's listen to what's happening. ये इतिहास का इकलौता उदाहरण है कि ऐसे बम कांड में सम्मिलित किसी को रिहा करने की मांग विधानसभा करती है ऐसे एसडीपीआई राहुल गांधी के मोहब्बत के दुकान में आती है क्या 
एस से साथ रहना ये मोहब्बत की दुकान का प्रोडक्ट है क्या और जो हाथ हालात बदलने वाले हैं क्या देशद्रोही आतंकवादियों के कब्जे में देश देने देना या ना हालात बदलना ये कांग्रेस मानती है का नंबर पहला प्रश्न दूसरा प्रश्न ये है कि दिल्ली में रामलीला मैदान में तो घमंडिया गठबंधन की रैली तो हुई सब साथ आए लेकिन उसी रैली में आए हुए कुछ पार्टी के लोग राहुल गांधी जी के विरोध में सीपीआई के व्यक्ति चुनाव लड़ने वाले हैं और बंगाल में लोकसभा में कांग्रेस के नेता रहे उनके विरोध में टीएमसी उम्मीदवार लड़ने वाली है तो ये गठबंधन है या विगठबंधन है इस सवाल का जवाब राहुल जी ने देना चाहिए और तीसरा सवाल मेरा यह है कांग्रेस के विज्ञापन आने लगे हैं लेकिन उसमें कांग्रेस के अध्यक्ष जी का फोटो नहीं है खरगे जी अगर आपके अध्यक्ष है तो उनका फोटो होना चाहिए उनका नहीं तो राहुल जी आपका सोनिया जी का क्या कांग्रेस को यह डर है कि अपने किसी नेता के फोटो डालने से अपने वोट कम होने वाले हैं इसलिए विज्ञापन में ना सोनिया जी का ना राहुल जी का ना खरगे जी का फोटो आ रहा है ऐसे तीन सवाल राहुल जी को मैं आज आपके द्वारा पूछना चाहता हूं भारतीय जनता पार्टी में आदरणीय प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में विकसित भारत का संकल्प पूरा करने के लिए हमारे साथ जुड़े तो स्वाभाविकता उनकी हर ताकत का हर शक्ति का उपयोग भारतीय जनता पार्टी दिल्ली हरियाणा राजस्थान इन सभी प्रांतों में जरूर करेगी उत्तर प्रदेश में भी और उनके आने से और एक मजबूती से भारतीय जनता पार्टी अपने ध्येय के ओर अपने टारगेट की ओर सफलतापूर्वक बढ़ेगी ये मुझे विश्वास है धन्यवाद मेरा निवेदन होगा माननीय विजेंद्र जी से कि आपको संबोधित करें जी राम राम सभी को मैं बॉक्सर विजेंद्र सिंह और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी हमारे होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह जी अध्यक्ष जेपी नड्डा जी तावड़े जी मैंग जी के नेतृत्व में मैं आज बीजेपी में शामिल हो रहा हूं और एक तरह से कहते घर वापसी हो रही है मेरी तकरीबन 19 में मैं मैं चुनाव लड़ा था और ऑलमोस्ट पाँच साल होने वाले हैं अभी चार साल होने वाले हैं तो अभी <laughs> कहते कि इंग्लिश में कहावत है गुड टू बी बैक तो काफ़ी अच्छा लग रहा है और जिस तरह से मान सम्मान खिलाड़ियों का देश विदेश में बढ़ा है वो काबिल तारीफ है जैसे हम बाहर यूके में फाइट करने जाते थे दुबई में फाइट करने जाते थे आयरलैंड में फाइट करने जाते थे तो कई बार एयरपोर्ट पर बहुत सारी चीज़ें होती थी लेकिन जब से हमारी बीजेपी सरकार आई है मोदी गवर्नमेंट आई है तब से एक बहुत सरल और कहते बहुत आसान तरीके से हम कहीं भी आ जा सकते हैं जो मान सम्मान इस गवर्नमेंट में मिला है तो खिलाड़ी उसके लिए बहुत धन्यवाद करते हैं मोदी साहब का बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट का और मैं चाहूँगा कि इस गवर्नमेंट में रहकर मैं ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों का भला कर सकूँ लोगों को सही राह दिखा सकूँ और मैं पहले वाला विजेंदर हूँ और जो भी मेरे को लगेगा गलत है गलत को गलत कहूँगा सही को सही कहूँगा जय हिंद जय भारत बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद
Go across to Mr. Rudit Raj of the Congress Party now, joining us for his reaction. Uh, what's your response, sir, uh, to another person from the Congress now moving on and deciding to uh, throw their lot in with the BJP? In this pressure uh, tactics uh, era, uh, anybody uh, can join BJP. Uh, either by fear or uh, uh, gain, loss or gain, uh, there are two ways that uh, normal people is, can be influenced, like uh, EDCBI income tax. If that tactic does not uh, work, then of course, greed. So there must be element of greed. And of course, uh, power itself is a big attraction and is the greed itself. And I don't think that he was ever active. However, uh, uh, there, are, there are two ways also, not one way, that many BJP people are also joining okay. Congress party. But uh, one follow-up question to you, Mr. Rudit Raj, because until recently, Vijayendra Singh was still tweeting in favor of the Congress party. Uh, he had also met uh, Rahul Gandhi during the Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra. He had also taken a stand uh, against the uh, uh, government over the wrestlers' protest. He had, in fact, shown solidarity with the likes of Sakshi Malik, among others. What has changed within such a limited span of time that he's now decided to join the BJP? Surely uh, something may have gone wrong between uh, him and his relations with the Congress party, sir. Not relation. There must be something in, in his cabal. That is what I can say. Otherwise, uh, till yesterday, the person who was vehemently opposing BJP, today suddenly crossed over to BJP, means that uh, ED, CBI income tax might have found something. And uh, then a weak, uh, uh, weak uh, spot, they must have uh, uh, attacked or might might have terrorized, might be. Otherwise, I don't think that there was any uh, un, uh, uh, any uh, uncomfortable relationship. Okay. It was stable and comfortable relationship with him. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Udit Raj. You're suspecting that uh, the agencies might have found something against Vijender Singh, which is why he might have thrown his lot with the BJP. That is entirely your speculation. Let's turn